Okay, so you have um, a presentation. You want to link a PDF in here. Um, there's there's one way to do it. I mean, one way I do it is I go to Google Drive, and I will upload the PDF to Drive. This way, you're going to make it web-based so that people can access it anywhere. So you need to find your PDF, and that's my PDF. Oh, let me close that. Hit open, and then and now. What, before I do that, <clears throat> you want to check your settings. So here, to make sure my upload settings, I don't. I want to make sure that this is not that convert text from upload PDF and images is not converted. Make sure this is. You don't want it to look like that. You want to uncheck that. Just the second one. So upload settings. So there, it should look like this. So now I'm going to go to upload. I'm going to file. I'm going to find it on because I've downloaded it. Uh, to my downloads. I click on it and I'll hit open and then upload and share and start upload. Now you see this is a pretty big PDF so I'm going to wait a little while. Now just like any Google Doc you want to make sure the settings um, are for um, they're not private that the settings for this document I usually change it to anyone with a link so as soon as this uploads um, I should have found a shorter one we'll, we'll change that setting and then we'll get the URL. Now we want it to look nice in the presentation. So while this is doing that, I'm going to go. So this is actually the, the site that I'm getting the PDF from. Um, I have another tool here called Snagit Screen Capture Extension. So I'm actually going to take a picture of that. Because now, I, on my presentation, and I'm going to call it, I'll just leave it that way. I'll actually call it Hewlett. So I know what it is, and when see what it says when it's done, it's waiting to sync. Um, I can close that. I've renamed it, and you click. Well, when that's done, you'll be able to share it. There's a link, but I actually want to download it. Um, let me go back to the library. It's still loading there. I can click on that, double click, and then. Actually, I want to download it. I don't want to share it. Well, it's in my library. I'll show you how to do it. So now I'm going to the presentation. I'm going to insert an image because I just took an image of that page. And I can find it in my drive because Snagit actually creates a, um, a folder for me. And oh, I could go to recent. Maybe it'll show up there. It should. And then... There it is, Hewlett, and select. And now I'm going to make it a little smaller. I'm going to put it down here. Or I mean, you, you can make it really tiny. It doesn't matter. It's depending how I'm going to get rid of that background thing. So now let's go see if my um, PDF is loaded. There it is. So I can close that little window. I can click on this. Um, now here you can go to Open with Drive Viewer. Now it's still a PDF, but I can view it in Google Drive. People see they can't edit it. Um, you can also look at the settings here for file. Um, and then this share, I'm going to make sure that share is to anyone with a link can view. And I can either copy right now, control C, that URL, or I can copy, uh, usually that one's better because this is for edit, but uh, let me go. So rename, move, embed this file. Now this is if you're embedding it in a website, but right now we're just linking to it. It's in a presentation you really would have to link. So I copied that, or I can copy this one. I'm going back here. So now what I can do, if see this little uh, insert a link, I can paste it there, and now that is a link, and also I can um, put in a little text box saying. Um, next gen science standards and I can highlight that and I can put a link here and I can copy and paste the link to that PDF right there so so there's a couple ways and again you can make your presentation look make it look you know however you want and then under here so now when people are, are playing the presentation um, I can go, let me, from uh, 
they can actually click right on the picture or the standards and it opens a new window for that PDF. I hope that helps. Um, good luck.